Hi everyone, my name is Alajuhi AJ for short, and in this new series, I'm going to uh, explain the concepts and results and the skills and so the exercises of the most famous book of mathematics, uh, Thomas Calculus. I'm following now uh, the the fourth uh, the fourteenth edition, which is the latest edition in two thousand and nine, and I'm going to start this lecture. Okay, let me just explain what how, how the the how this series will be. First, I'm going to explain in in each in each concept or in each section. I'm going to uh, I'm going to make tutorials about the concepts and the skills, and then I'm going to move to solve the equations or solve the equations, solve the exercises, not the examples, just the exercises on the back of each section, which is which is really a lot of exercises. So the main uh, uh, the main task or the main uh, the main goal of of uh, of making this uh, video uh, video series uh, is because there is no one uh, I, I haven't seen anyone in on YouTube that uh, solving all the exercises of the calculus. This is my first lecture, and the plan uh, will take a lot of time. But we're going we're going to uh, we're we're starting this task or starting this series. Uh, we're not restricted in, in solving the, the exercises of the first chapter. We can move to the, to the second chapter, to the integration, for example. That depends on the comments that we, you will leave, and it depends on the views and the need that students ask me when i uh, in the middle of doing these lectures. So I'm going to do a lecture, maybe two, maybe three parts, I don't know, Okay, uh, about the skills and concepts, or concepts and skills, and then I'm going to to make tutorials sequentially behind, uh, after these uh, after these uh, uh, after these tutorials to uh, to solve the questions. So if you don't need to understand or you're okay with the concept and the skills, you, you can just move to the exercises and see the the solutions. And if you say no, uh, I'm okay. I'm I can see I can see the skills and the concepts. I need extra explanation, maybe another point of view, so just you can stick with me here and we can just pass together, pass these uh, skills and uh, concepts, ideas, and then move to solving the question, uh, the exercises. So the first thing I need to make revise to is relation. The relation. What do we mean by a relation? A relation is just a simple connection between two sets how for example let's say relation uh, we have a mathematical uh, uh, definition and we have just uh, a simple definition let me say it is a simple connection So, the relation, it's a simple connection between two sets. For example, if we have this set A and we have the other set, set B and we have here x1 an element and x2 another element and x3 and we have here y1, y2 and y3 so if we connect these, if we connect these elements, for example, just for example, for simplicity, we will get a relation. Where is the relation? The relation is a set of order pairs. So x, y belongs to the to the to the product of these two sets, such that the first part of the uh, order pair belongs to the set A and we can write it just and like this uh, logic uh, notation and Y belongs to the other set it's just a simple connection could be with a rule and could be without a rule for example let me uh, do we uh, do I have something I don't want to forget something. 
I'm going to start with this one. Okay. So if we wanted to draw our graph, let's say graph this this relation, I'm going to uh, consider this. I'm going to consider this set A here. This set could be could have more than more than just x3 it could be x4 x5 x6 and this set also y4 y5 it doesn't matter so these elements are not connected and these elements are not connected and this is still a relation so this is the set i which is the set that that i connect the elements from okay and this is let's say this is the destination and this is the source so i move from here to here the connection it's just a connection but let's consider it's just a destination and and source so x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and here y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and if i want to graph this this relation the graph will be x1 for example yeah that means r if i want to make it explicitly i can i can uh, i can write the relation this way which is which is the i can define the order base this is the definition of the order base okay in general but for this relation let me call it R1, which is which is uh, uh, which doesn't connect every element from this set with every element from this set because according to this definition, uh, uh, every element from the the set A is has to be or has to be connected with an element from the set B, which is not the reality in here. So I I will denote it R1. R1 will be x1 connected with uh, with y1 and x2 this is the definition in general this doesn't mean this relation this relation i will write it right here y2 and x3 with y3 so this relation has a three elements a three order pairs so the elements of the first set Represented as a line in here and the elements of the second set represented as a line a vertical line this is the set B or the set B and the elements of the relation R1 will be order pair x1 with y1 this is the first element and x2 with y2 x3 with y3 see so r1 which is the relation uh, is a, a subset from the plane okay a is a subset of them from uh, the real num number which is r and b is a subset from the real number r the plane equal to multiplication between R and R. Uh, we call the Descartes multiplication. Okay, this is the relation. This is a very simple concept. Okay, and it will be the base to our concept today. This relation could be with a rule and could be without a rule. Okay, so now I consider this, this relation is just a simple connection without any rule that connects between these two elements. Two numbers we're going to say it numbers not elements because we are constricted here uh, uh, with the real numbers so I'm not gonna say an element the the most uh, the right term is the element but it's too general so I'm going to say number because we are dealing with the real numbers and functions uh, the function <coughs> okay coordinate so now let me uh, say or clarify something now the connected set 
is a subset from A. And the connected set here, it is a subset from A. This set, we called it the domain. Okay? This set, the set of the connected elements from the left side, okay, from the source. And this is called the range, which is the connected elements from the right side, which is the destination. Okay, so we have the domain and the range. The function, now I'm going to write a definition. So now we've uh, finished writing the definition. The definition says a function f from a from a set d to a set y is a rule that assigns a unique value f of x in y to each x in d. So it is a rule. We have here the domain d. And we have this set y, which is could be the range. So we have here elements. Let's say here elements x, 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 x. And we have here uh, of, of x, which is the, the effect or the value of this x. So if I apply the rule, if I apply the rule to this x, the result will be f of x. So, uh, so what's the difference between the, the function and the relation? The function is a more advanced concept. The relation is just a simple connection without any conditions. But we can see here that there is two conditions uh, that must, uh, two conditions uh, that the relation must satisfy to turn to a function. The first, all the numbers here should be connected, not like the, the relation. A function f from a, a set d to a set y is a rule that assigns a unique value f of x in y to each, to each x in d. So, uh, the function... After finishing this, uh, this another, uh, this is an, another review, uh, an another point or, or uh, point of view of understanding the the connection between the relation and the function. As I said before, that the relation is a simple a connection could be with the rule and could be without the rule, and this relation uh, uh, must satisfy two conditions to be called to be called the function function is more advanced a more advanced concept uh, the function is a relation that satisfies the following conditions <clears throat> for each x in d there will be f of x equal to y so mathematically this is in mathematics i would say for every element here it's connected to f of x here so there is Okay, so f of x belongs to y. The second condition for every x in d, there exists just only one y such that y equal to f of x. I mean by y, I mean this element. So let's let's imagine that this function is just a camera, a camera. So uh, I need to have like. Uh, an image for each, or we call it a mapping. This is called a mapping sometimes. So for every element in here, there should be, first, should be a value that connects with x, and the other condition should be just one value. So in mathematics, we say for every x in d, there exists just one y such that one image, one destination, just one destination. Or in mathematics, for, uh, uh, for all x in D, 
if we find uh, and all y1 if i found that y1 equal to this image and y2 equal to this image so y1 should be the same as y2 which is the same value which is the same value i mean for every x there is just one value as a destination to this to this element so if if the real if the relation satisfies these two condition i i can call it a function in modeling and calculus and engineering and physics we don't actually we don't normally deal with the with the with the relations because we need the most advanced concept of the function which has a lot of properties that uh, allows me to get the most benefits from mathematics as a tool to solve and model the physical and the engineering and bio medical and a lot a lot of applications in science so now we can consider the the function as a machine now we can consider uh, the function as a machine f which has input and has output we don't care anymore we're not going to go back and say this is a relation and this is a function it's just a machine that uh, that uh, that we feed it with some numbers and it give us another numbers okay another another main difference between the relation and the function you can see here the domain of the relation could be a subset of this set but in function this set should be all a domain okay 